Hello, I'm uh, Raymond Szymanowski. I've come from far away from Latvia, Eastern Europe, and I'm uh, going to talk about how to analyze and visualize your Git log. So let's get started. So we use a lot of code metrics like lines of code, test coverage, cyclomatic complexity to analyze our code, but uh, typically it's just analyzing some snapshot of our code. But it would, uh, and we have a lot of uh, Ruby tools that do that. Uh, but uh, it would be interesting also to have a look at uh, Git log, so which contains a lot of information how our code has changed over time, and so uh, to get some valuable information, sometimes just fun information out of that. And last year uh, at uh, RailsConf, uh, there was a talk uh, by Michael Feathers and Corey Haynes about mining rails and how you can learn from your app's lifeline and where they spoke, so how you could analyze your Git log. And that topic was interesting for me, so I decided to create a better tool for that. And uh, so as I'm uh, working on a data analysis uh, tool, EasyBI, which does this multidimensional analysis thing, uh, I thought that I could apply uh, to that. So you can, uh, in terms of Git log, so you can analyze it by author's dimension, file's dimension, time's dimension, how it changes over time, and then you can analyze number of commits, additions, deletions, and as well as analyze by some additional dim dimensions like uh, hour of the day or uh, weekday uh, when you created some commit. And as an example, I will use uh, Ruby on Rails, uh, git commit log to uh, take a look on that. So this is a history of the whole uh, Ruby on Rails git log, so where you can see the uh, number of commits and additions, deletions, and how the total uh, number of uh, lines has grown over the years. And if we focus just on changes to Ruby files, so we can see the history of Rails. So initially there was birth of Rails, then during 2008 to 2010 there were Rails, Great Rails 3 refactoring, and then we see smaller peaks just before Rails Conf is coming, so, so then some people are doing uh, some uh, more commits. And uh, okay, let's take a look at DHH contribution. So initially he did everything by himself, yeah? so then he allowed others to commit as well. But then in the recent years, you know, as we see that um, this uh, car racing stuff yeah, was taking more time, and, and, and so he didn't do anything at all. Yeah, and then uh, at the last rails comes, so he needed to speak about uh, asset pipeline, and so finally there's again some peak uh, in his uh, cont contributions. But, uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, some uh, current top uh, contributors. So these are current top contributors in 2012. And so we, I noticed some, uh, that there are some who changes a lot, like Aaron Patterson and Xavier Noria. But then some other top contributors are actually deleting, so their net change is negative, like, for example, for Jose Valim. So let's uh, take a look on them. So Aaron Patterson, so he's a very disciplined developer. So he starts to work at, uh, in the morning, with, and he warms up with some small commits. Then he eats lunch at 12 p.m., and then he's finishing work at 6 p.m and taking a rest for the day. <laughs> and, uh, but so Jose Valim, so he's not having very healthy attitude. Yeah? So we see that he's working all, all, the, all night yeah? and then during daytime, so his contribution is uh, reducing, probably working on some other stuff. And then at the uh, late evening, so he's starting to delete in code. Yeah? And then if we take a look at the Xavier Noria, so he's doing a lot of changes as well, yeah? But when I investigated that, so he's actually just moving large textile files around, and so they're faking statistics, so to be in the top 10 list, yeah? Uh, okay, let's, uh, but let's uh, let take a top, uh, a top all-time Rails code deleters, and the number one position is by Michael Linsar. His uh, net contribution is minus 24,000 lines of code, yeah? So he was going to talk about how to kill Rails today, but so, I don't know why he canceled his talk. And uh, then I also analyzed, so who are the most active pairs? And of course, the most active pair is Yehuda and Karl. But so uh, as we see, they are trying different combinations as well. So uh, either to do addition of them or logical and or a uh, bit set and, yeah, so to see what is the more uh, effective way. Uh, let's take different looks of uh, contributions by time zone. And as we see that last year, European time zones did the majority of contributions. Yeah, Europeans, so we are the best. <laughs> but uh, but so, so, so then we uh, take a look at this year. So then unfortunately, US West Coast is uh, taking advantage. Yeah, so we Europeans uh, need to do better so, so to improve this uh, situation. And uh, finally, uh, so I also analyzed by uh, the statistics by day of uh, week, and uh, so I noticed that on Friday, so it's a little bit lower, and why is that? So then I noticed, yeah, by, by hours, yeah, so that at 7 p.m., so it's beer time, and then the comets drops down, and then after, uh, at uh, 8 p.m., so it starts beer-driven development when it goes up again. <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, in, in this year, yeah, so we, we see that, yeah, that uh, what's interesting, so that on Sunday, so the number of comets is dropping down, so finally Rails is enterprise ready, we don't need to fix it on Sundays. So if you liked it, yeah, so you can go there to this link, I will uh, tweet link to that, you can follow me, uh, I'm Arsim, and you can analyze your application Git log as well. Thank you.